prospect theory to start with let's first discuss predecessor of prospect theory expected utility theory bernoulli gave utility theory in 1738 he used a coin toss game known as saint peterburg's paradox to demonstrate the limitations of expected value as a normative decision rule he proposed utility function to explain people's choice behavior he assumed that people try to maximize utility not expected value this theory assumes man is rational and tries to maximize utility the expected utility is calculated by taking the weighted average of all possible outcomes under certain circumstances with the weights being assigned by the likelihood or probability that any particular event will occur it proposes that utility is not linear function of wealth but a subjective concave evaluation of outcome thus it uses decreasing marginal utility concept it also implicitly assumed concept of risk aversion it also assumed that people's attitude towards risk was foisted as by product of their attitude towards value revealed preference theory after two centuries von neumann and morgan stern revolutionized bernoulli's expected utility theory by giving revealed preference theory or subjective expected theory bernoulli used utility to define preferences while von neumann used preferences in defining utility von neumann do not define individual preference orderings but define certain constraints on possible relationship between individual preferences this theory says that people seek to maximize their subjective expected utility each person may have a different utility curve but all follow same normative axioms for achieving their individually defined maximum subjective expected utility these axioms are transitivity that if a is equal to b and b is equal to c then automatically a is equal to c dominance if one option is better in one aspect and good in all other he would be preferred to others invariance axiom preference remains unchanged regardless of order or method of presentation all these axioms are relevant to all rational decision making models they are logically correct but people do violate all of them in actual behavior this is what Kahneman and Tversky gave as major finding of prospect theory. Prospect theory was formulated in 1979 and further developed in 1992 by Amos Tversky and Daniel Kahneman, deeming it more psychologically accurate of how decisions are made when compared to the expected utility theory. Prospect theory has similarity to previous models as it also assumes that shape of curve is similar for everyone and curve is not a straight line and different people can have different utility curves behavioral biases that are related to prospect theory include framing effect endowment bias and loss aversion under scenario 1 first option is 85% chance to win rupees 10000 option b sure gain of rupees 8500 which one will you choose although both the options will give you the same outcome most of the people prefer option b that is sure gain of rupees 8500 let's take the second scenario option c says 100% chance of losing rupees 8500 option d 85% chance of losing rupees 10000 although both option c and d means the same which one will you choose it was found that most of the people choose option d because of loss aversion let's take another example in a race when winners are declared gold medalist is happy bronze medalist is very happy but silver medalist doesn't appear to be happy reason is reference point for a silver medalist he just missed to win the gold so he is sad because of his win but bronze medalist is overwhelmed because he feels that what would have happened if he would have been on rank 4 so he made it to the third rank makes him happiest of all 
there are two phases of prospect decision making editing phase and evaluation phase editing phase or framing phase framing effect refers to the way in which a choice can be affected by the order or manner in which it is presented to decision maker in some situations even the options are not known there the decision maker has to apply his creativity in determining and constructing the options according to kenneman and twersky framing is controlled by the manner in which choice problem is presented as well as by the norms habits and expectation of decision maker framing affects the editing phase through procedures like segregation that is identifying factors which seems most relevant to problem acceptance decision maker usually accepts the way problem is presented they do not recast it coding categorizing outcome as gain or loss combination add together likelihood of choices to present identical outcomes and cancellation discounting carried out in evaluating choices that carry similar outcomes under the evaluation phase there are two functions value function and weighing function value function has three characteristics it is defined in terms of gains and losses to a reference point so starting point is important The S-shaped curve shows that it is convex below the reference point and concave above it. The curve is more sensitive to changes near the origin as compared to far from it. It also means people are risk averse in times of gain and risk seeker in situation of loss, so domain affects risk propensity. The asymmetric nature of value curve It is steeper in domain of loss rather than in gain. It is because of loss aversion. That is, losing rupees hundred hurt more than happiness in finding rupees hundred. Weighing function. Each outcome is given decision weights. They are not similar to probabilities assigned as they do not follow rational choice. Decision weights are empirically derived assessment of how people arrive. at sense of likelihood they can be affected by factors like ambiguity events which are certain or impossible receive higher weights than other events thus editing phase comes into play low probability are overweighted while high and medium probability are subjectively underweighted something which is unlikely to happen has more impact on decision making let's take another example of lottery and insurance in lotteries people are willing to take sure loss for non-existence chance of huge gain so people become risk seeking when probability of gain is low while in insurance people are willing to take sure loss in present in order to prevent small chances of future by losses so people are risk averse in losses when probability of loss is small As per prospect theory, people are giving overweight and attention to small probability of potential huge gain or huge losses. Daniel Kahneman in his book Thinking Fast and Slow talks about two parts of the brain. He explains it using the term system 1 and system 2. System 1 part of the brain is automatic fast thinking part of the brain which uses heuristics and past experience and take quick decisions. like if you ask someone 2 plus 2 quick answer comes 4 system ones need no conscious effort is impulsive it creates impressions feeling memory and is more creative when we are happy our system one works more than system two system two whereas is slow thinking brain which exhibits self control is logical it tries to solve complex decision problems with knowledge and analysis like someone as 17 multiplied by 24 so our mind may take some time to calculate it and it is deliberate and more orderly 